Kumangra, not known. And I need to make sure that it's what? Exactly, unique. Why? Because I'm going to try to log in with an email, right? So the next thing will be password. And that should be not known. And see that the password is a keyword, so I'm going to say user underscore password. Now I'm missing something. I'm missing the uh, user underscore row. And I always put uh, numeric and not no. And if you want, you can default, uh, put a default of zero so you don't have to uh, submit to it every time. But I, I prefer to submit to it. So that's it, that's my table. Okay, so make sure to run the script. Quick question, Mark. Yep. Um, even though I know writing the query is good to learn the query and get used to it, can't you just use Workbench and just define these tables and set the parameters you want? In Workbench, you can just select oh. what you're doing. Okay, you don't have to write each and every one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here too. So um, okay, that's okay as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, but you just need to have the code to submit it. To submit. Yeah. And as always, run the command commit. You need to be able, JVC needs to be able to see the latest version of your database. Okay. Commit completed. There you go. So I have my table. So now, what should I do? I need a uh, need a properties field, right? I need a um, properties file that contains my credentials to the database. Remember that one? So I need that. But I need to set up the package for it. So I'll create a package following the naming convention. The only the only thing that changes is the last last um, folder or package. A quick shortcut, if you wanna, don't want to um, mistype or anything, you can just right click right on top of the package and create a new package and, on that package. And delete the first name, and there you go, you have a complete new package. Resources. So that's kind of the shortcut. So I did give you that, right? It's in the people. Copy it here. So let me remind you what that looks like. The first line is the driver for the JDBC. The URL is how I tell JDBC how to find my database. The user and password is the, the, pa the user and password for the, the connection that I'm currently using. Now the way it grabs all of those is by a class that I share with you guys as well. It's called Oracle Connection. We'll grab that for from here. And where does Oracle Connection go? In a DAO package. So that's a near complete package. DAO and in mind you how that class looks like. It essentially just makes a connection out of the, the key that it has in the property 
and then it returns that connection to whatever class was the caller. So what's the only thing that I need to change in this class? Right, so my package name is called Home Insurance Resources. So I need to make sure that matches here. And the reason that I use the forward slash is because packages are essentially folders. And I'm trying to access a path to the, re to the DD properties. So this is for Home Insurance Resources. Okay, so that's good and all. The next thing I should do is what? Create the DAOs. Create the DAOs. And I need to make sure, because I'm interacting with the database, to have the JDBC or JDBC file. So that thing. And where does the JD, all JDBC go? Yeah. In the lift folder. Yeah. Right, which is in the under the web INF. Okay, so that's right there. Now I'm ready. Now I'm ready to do the hard work. All right, so create a create a model, right? Because I need to get a user. So that will be for all of us. Either I think you guys call a user or customer. User. User. Okay. So that will be in a completely new package, which is uh, which is called. Models. So user, and the only thing that this user has is the um, the primary key, which is the user ID. The email, which is a string. The password, private uh, password, and private integer user underscore row. And then create get us a status for it. What I recommend is um, creating get us a status for all of the fields, creating a constructor with all of the fields, So it constructed with all the fields, remove the super, and overload that constructor again. However, you're gonna remove the ID from the picture, and the ID just takes a zero. Okay, so now you can have, you can construct a user with without an ID and without with an ID. What is the use case for that? This one can come from a form. This one can come from a um, the database. The form also you can remove the um, user row, but I like to leave it there. Okay, so save that. Now I'm ready to create a DAO. So this one is going to be called, and it's in the DAO package, user DAO. Now the first thing that I want to do is create um, how to 